What is up my dudes? I am a little bit bored right now but I actually wanted to do this because um, a lot of you or maybe some of you would like to know listen here how that guys get those banging shots of their cars so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you kind of the basic stuff on what you need and you don't need a lot no Photoshop because I can imagine a lot of people know how to work Photoshop me included especially if you want to maybe get a couple of your shots of your car for yourself maybe like wallpaper shots or whatever so I'm gonna share to take some bangers first we need to wash this car it, it, it looks dirty I mean it looks clean on camera that's why it's quiet it looks clean on camera but hmm should give it a wash shouldn't I and uh, wait hold up That's much better. So I have a couple of spots here. I think I'm a, a little bit in the dark, which is this side. It's way more darker there. Let's, let's, let's start over there. Uh, I have a couple of shots of what I took. And that's how they can look. But I'm gonna show you what you can do with like a basic camera because I'm not really good with video. Let's be honest, can we just like, slap the like down there if I'm not good with video? <laughs> but I, I think I'm fairly okay with pictures. I'm not a professional in any way, but this is just what I've learned. And you can even do like light paintings and you can do, you don't even have to worry about lighting. You just slap your own lighting. A light, okay, preferably a bright battery operated light. Secondly, you're gonna need a tripod. That's a master tripod. You don't have a tripod, put your camera on top of like a chair or something. Just so that it's like a nice height. So let's get to, let's get to taking some banging shots. Okay, like I said, I moved it now. It's in the dark. And I kind of want you to see that, look how dark that is. This camera doesn't really show like a lot of light, but Place it nicely, turn the front wheel a little bit to the right. Uh, and this is my basic setup. I have a 300D, oh, you can't even see. 300D with a cheap, like 50 Rand rubber lens hood on because you don't want that, that light bleed. And one of these, just a little factory operated spotlight. And that's about it. You want, you want the tripod also. So you want the camera sitting on the tripod because you are all going to open up the shutter for a while and you want the light. Now, I want you all to put it in. It's on now. Let's put it in manual. Okay. And now we can start experimenting. Let's first see if it's in frame. Yes, we are way too close. One thing I noticed though, you don't want to put it too high. And you actually want to back it up a little bit. You can always just... Let me just zoom the camera in a little bit. Okay, that's focused in. So what I, what I like to do is you want to open that shutter. You want to open that shutter, Paul. Okay, that's too long, but I'd say about I think eight seconds is fine. You want to get enough time to go around if 18 is alright, and you want low ISO. Okay, you want nice, super, super low ISO because you don't want there to be a lot of noise. The more ISO, the more noise. Yeah, and white balance, I'm gonna go with fluorescent. And then let's just give that a shot quickly. Let's see how that turns out. I'll wait a while. Get that shot again. Okay, that is too dark. So you cannot go lower ISO than that, so stay there. And let's miss with the if stop. Let's go if five. Let's hit that. Put it on a timer. You want to get the shot. You want to let the shot start on a timer because okay, if stop was way too much there. You want to get it on a timer so that you don't get any blur in the picture because then the camera isn't shaking when you press the button. Okay, I think we got it now. I want, I want that darkness. So I'm going to put you guys on a tripod here. Show you exactly the effort I go through to get this shot. Okay. 
I'll put the screenshot on, but damn, that looks good. Okay, that looks tremendous. Okay, yeah, so that's that shot. Now you want to get some light painting. Now the crappy part of light painting is the shutter needs to be open quite a bit if you want to get the car lit and the background to be light painting. So you want the shutter open more, right? And then you want to more F. Okay, you're gonna want a 22, that's the most. So let's go 13 seconds. Uh, 10 seconds is fine. So two second timer on the three more balls. Okay. okay, and just look at my manis. It's just a couple of seconds of effort, but let's look at that shot. And bam. Okay, yes please, that looks flipping amazing. And we got some of the light bleeding through the front of the car and through the window, but I mean, come on. Really, are we gonna go on about that now? Okay, so we got a nice shot of the car, looking spiffy without light painting. And then a shot worth light painting. Mm. Let's go around the back and see if we can get a shot from the back. Let's leave the car in that spot. I'm gonna record this now. This is super dark, okay? For me, this, this lighting is not even close to like how you would want anything to be lit. That's not gonna work. So let's keep it on the same settings 10 seconds. Oh, it's taking without me lighting the car. Let's give it a shot and see how it looks without the lighting. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So let's do this again with the light on. And, uh, oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. I'm not just saying that because it's my cover, I mean. Look how perfectly it lit up. That redness, it looks so, so like glossy and the light in it is so perfect. There you go, and that's pretty much how you take a shot. Sorry if I'm sweating, but running around and moving around like that <laughs> really tires me out. But, anyways, that's how you get some liquor bangers of your car. I'm talking about that low light, okay? But sunlight, totally different. You can take it with your phone, you can take it whatever you want. But low light pictures with a little bit of light painting, my goodness, makes your car look like a, not a million bucks. You know what I mean? It just makes it pop so much better you don't really see any scratches or lines or anything like that from the car the car just shines and it makes it look either brand new or what you think your car looks like in your mind and it's it's i mean that's just my car you can do it with any car okay you can try it with a flipping yaris or like a old cars whatever your cars can pop so sexy if you just give it a shot like that um if you guys like it please like subscribe down down below this is lockdown period still, so, and it's been extended, so we just have absolutely nothing to do, really. So I'm just trying to give a little bit of tips to guys if you are at home, you know, pull it out in front of the house, you know, pull it in the garage, switch off the lights, maybe put on like one or two lights, hoi the light painting, and enjoy yourself. But that is like the cheapest Canon you can get, that's a DSLR, that is not a point and shoot. Uh, I hope you guys liked it, and see you guys in the next one. Cheers, thank you for watching.